Oye, esto es solo para los rumberos. Welcome back to the Raw Food Muscle. I'm your host Santiago and today we're going to school. Today is going to be a learning day for everybody and it's kind of ironic because my kids are getting out of school and in like four more days and that's all I have left and I'm going to be going crazy in the house because I'm going to have four kids in the house all day long. I'm going crazy. I need some help. Y'all need to help me. Alright. Okay. What I want to talk about today is uh, protein levels, okay? A lot of people have been asking me how much protein I take in, how much protein should they take in, and this really just depends on your body weight slash body fat, okay? Because there's a lot of um, misunderstanding about, uh, you know, protein intake in terms of uh, how, how much you take in per, per pound, okay? So let's just go by... The, RD, the RDA, the US RDA recommended amounts of protein intake in a daily basis, okay? Uh, for the regular, you know, Joe Schmo, they say 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight, okay? And that's just for the regular person. If you're endurance training, muscle training, then you want to go to 1 to 1.2 grams per kilogram, okay? So, to break that down, you really have to understand what, first of all, you have to understand what, what the transition is in terms of the, the kilograms, okay? So, but first, let's go by the weight, okay? So first you want to take your weight in pounds, okay? Then you want to take your, your fat percentage, okay? So sometimes this can be a little bit confusing because people never subtract that fat percentage. You can easily use... Uh, something like this. This is like a, um, a fat pincher. Uh, I call it a fat pincher. That's what you're doing. And you're going to need somebody to help you with this because what you do is you take three different measurements in different parts of your body, the chest, the back, the arms, and you have somebody pinch the fat and then you take this measure and you, you pinch it with this and then you, you, you read the measurement. Okay? There's other easier ways of doing it, uh, which is what I like to use, the body fat analyzer. Uh, you can do this by yourself. You just hold it on. You program it to your body, your height, uh, your weight, and then you hold your hands on here and it'll automatically tell you your BMI and your, your fat percentage, which is really convenient. If you go into the doctor, most likely you're getting a physical, the doctor's going to tell you what your fat percentages are. A lot of times when I'm personal training, when I'm um, giving somebody a workout regimen, I like to get all the information up front uh, so I know exactly what I'm working with depending on what their goals are and things like that so this is a good tool to use. Okay so what you want to do is you want to take your weight and then you take your fat percentage okay and you subtract it from your total weight okay this will give you your adjusted weight then you take your adjusted weight in pounds and you divide it by 2.2 okay and what this will do is this will give you adjusted weight in kilograms, okay? So it's important that you figure that out first, and then you take your weight in kilograms, your adjusted weight in kilograms, and then you figure out whether you're going to do the 0.8 grams of fat or 1 point to 1.2 grams of, uh, of protein, or grams of protein per day, okay? So, and, and everybody's going to be different, you know? Um, Women are going to have, you know, genetically they're supposed to have more fat percentage than men, okay? And this is a natural thing. This is a normal thing. And this is a healthy thing, okay? A lot of times we get, um, you know, caught up on the magazines and models and things like that and thinking that, you know, women are supposed to be really skinny and, you know, and that's not the natural way to be. I think women are, are beautiful, voluptuous women and, uh, you know, so having that fat, is important and this is also important for guys too. We're not all meant to be, you know, one percent fat. Okay. I'm not sorry, one yeah, one percent uh of fat. Even the body the professional bodybuilders, when they're training for their competitions, they shred as much weight down as possible, as much as the fat off. But, you know, it's not natural to be that way. That's why in the off season they look more their normal uh uh fat percentage, okay? So now that we have that understanding, you have the, 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 uh, the formula to break down your weight, subtract it by your fat percentage, you can move on to knowing exactly how much protein you need on a daily basis. And uh, now, I'm using the, RD, the USRDA recommended um, 
uh, numbers because, you know, most people recognize that. Now, I, they use those numbers based on cooked foods, okay? So, and I think when it comes to raw foods, it's a whole different realm, okay? I think you don't need as much. And I'm only speaking from my personal experience and how I feel when I'm eating raw foods, okay? So this is one point of view to, um, that I wanted to point out. 